Hello and welcome, Cabbage here. Let's do a playthrough of Nier Automata for the Nintendo Switch. But first, I'll answer some questions. Who am I? Why am I playing this game? And then what can we expect from my videos about this game? Uh, there might be people new to my channel. Welcome. First of all, I am Cabbage. I am a Japanese guy living in Japan. I like to cover Japanese games in English on my channel. And I mostly play uh, mobile games, and this will answer the second question, why am I playing Nier Automata? Uh, it's because I play Nier Reincarnation. I've never played Nier Automata, but I picked up uh, Nier Reincarnation. I am enjoying it very much. And then after I got into that a while, I was like, okay, I better play Nier Automata at some point. And then uh, the release of the uh, Nintendo Switch version seemed like a good uh, time for me to get in there. It might be interesting, you know, because my main frame of reference of the Nier world uh, is Nier Reincarnation. So playing Nier Automata here, I'm assuming it's going to be like uh, reading a novel to uh, complement the uh, short stories that I'm familiar with of the uh, same universe. And then as for uh, the type of videos I'll be putting up here, I'm not going to cover everything. I'm not going to live stream because I don't think I would be good at live streaming. And then I am here in this game pretty much just for the story. And then like the, uh, the design, the uh, world design, the uh, character design. So like uh, battle or action or boss battles, uh, I might not even cover them in videos. <laughs> Just focusing on the story. So of course there will be spoilers here. And then I'm going to play on uh, easy. There are a couple of reasons for this. Uh, one, I am too old for the, uh, the button mashing. So to save my arms, we're going to go on easy. It has a lot of like auto stuff, auto battle, right. Auto evade, auto weapon switch, all that stuff. For another thing, I am uh, playing this on my laptop. It's like uh, captured or uh, mirrored, uh, and there is a little bit of delay. So I'm going to lower the difficulty because I'm not going to be able to play and react uh, kind of in an ideal situation. So the auto evade in particular might help me out. <laughs> And then uh, one of the reasons that they include uh, this kind of auto battle or auto play uh, is so that they can appeal to more people uh, that are more casual people. Maybe uh, they don't have a long history of uh, video games, uh, you know, with the, uh, the reaction and the hand-eye coordination and all that. And then a part of that in Japan is to appeal to uh, more the female audience. I'm not saying everybody. I am aware that there are hardcore female gamers out there. Uh, with the reaction time and the uh, hand-eye coordination and all that. But to appeal to a more casual gamer, which uh, makes up a greater uh, portion of the, uh, the female population, they do include the uh, auto battle here. I've mentioned this fact in a previous New Reincarnation video, and I lost some uh, female viewers for that, but I'm going to say it again here because it is a fact. Uh, but also good for people like me, because of the uh, reasons that I stated before. And we have some uh, control schemes here. I'll play a little bit and uh, see what I like. Maybe I'll change it later. And then we'll set the voice acting to Japanese. I'm a big fan of uh, Japanese voice acting. I try over and over to convey why I prefer it or why it's better. But I feel like I never get my point across. <laughs><笑> 
Pretty deep thoughts for an android right at the beginning of the game. <laughs> So we got some uh, flying mechs here. And all of the uh, voice acting performance here, it's very dry and mechanical, especially 2B. And then we got the names that are just uh, numbers and letters, so that's even uh, less, you know, personalization. And then another thing that we're getting a sense of uh, watching this here is that uh, 2B, she's not anything special actually. She's just uh, one of many. She's not even the leader of this unit. Okay, we got some battle here. But again, with the auto battle on, I'm just moving around and it's firing for me. <laughs> and evading as well. Oh, there goes the white one. Interesting that they went with, uh, in the English, they say lost in Japanese, but they went with down. Down, as I understand it, is a, a term that they use in uh, English-speaking military. Okay, we got the uh, transforming mech. That's another thing that Japanese people love. <laughs> and here, this is a different kind of a game mode. You can move in one direction, but then fire in another. Kind of reminds me of like a Gauntlet or a Smash TV, if anybody remembers those games. Pretty impressive look to this stage. Just a bunch of sunken buildings. And at this point, we actually haven't even seen 2B. We've heard her voice, and then we've seen this uh, aircraft. And I definitely hit that wall, but the auto evade is doing its job. <laughs> Now we are in side scrolling. There's uh, quite a history of uh, side scrolling or uh, top down scrolling shooters in Japan. This does not even approach like the difficulty or the complexity of those. <laughs> I've never been uh, man enough to really try. Uh, the high difficulty ones. But like some of them involve like, you know, barely evading projectiles. If you do that, you can like charge meter or whatever. Or like uh, you can flip your ship so that you are uh, immune, you know, to like the dark colored ones. You can flip it back and you're immune to the light colored ones. And it requires, uh, you know, flipping at the right moment. But cool reference to that in uh, this game here. And then uh, it's kind of embracing the uh, the 2D play. 
In a lot of other games, modern games, they try to hide the fact that it's a, a 2D play by making it look fancy. They kind of do a similar thing in Near Reincarnation. Alright, and here we finally see 2B. If we went into this game like totally blind, you know, didn't see the cover of the uh, the game, we might be surprised by the look here because she doesn't look very mechanical. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the costume design, the character design on Two uh, B, I still feel like I've said this many times that she's maybe the uh, the best design of like the last five years or something of all media. And then I have watched uh, playthroughs, like bits and pieces here and there. I haven't seen any of the endings, but one of the things that impressed me the most was the uh, kind of the voice uh, filter on pod 153. So I was really looking forward to uh, playing the game in Japanese for that. And then uh, there's a character in uh, Near Reincarnation who has kind of a similar uh, voice filter. That's uh, Demas. He's kind of a very early android or uh, AI robot. So I really enjoy the uh, voice performance of him and then Pod 153 here. All right, we got a uh, mini boss here. I have played this because uh, there was a demo that they released back in 2016, 2017. I played that then, so I have played this before. <laughs> but yeah, with the auto battle, you know, I have the uh, the shots coming out of the uh, pod, and then if I can get close enough, I can do the uh, the close range attacks. Ugh. <laughs> I love the pod voice performance. Talking about uh, Demas again from Near Reincarnation, some of the English localization I feel like is not robotic enough. I have some uh, qualms with that. <laughs> Alright, but there goes the mini boss. Maybe lower HP. Uh, because this is uh, easy mode. And here's 9S, goody two shoes. From what I know of 9S, I don't like him as much as a 2B. Part of it is the voice performance, which is deliberate, but he's a lot more sort of like like warm and friendly. I really like the uh, the more of the cold of a 2B, but I know why they do it. It's for the contrast. But maybe playing through the, uh, the game here, I'll come to like 9S. Okay, that'll do it for this video. After this recording, I spent like the next 20 minutes just kind of walking around, jumping and attacking, looking at all of the uh, animations, and then also trying the uh, costumes for the uh, Switch version. Okay, next video, let's go to the uh, space base flying up above the Earth. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.